artist Ted Harrison uses bright colors, a distinctive style, and a new, unique perspective to paint Canadian life as he sees it. His famous works hang in the halls of some of Canada's most prominent buildings, including the Prime Minister's home, and he is here today to talk about his life and career, and we're so glad that you're here, Mr. Harrison. Good so, to see you. Yeah, it's good to be here. Mm. Uh, you have been uh, documenting Canadian life for four decades now. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your journey and, and, and putting brush to canvas and creating these beautiful works of art. Well, I was trained academically in an art school in Hartlepool, County Durham in England. And, uh, and then I couldn't paint afterwards because... I'd been trained so academically it just took all the joy out of painting. And it wasn't really until I got to the Yukon that I opened up, that Canada opened me up. <laughs> mm. The Yukon has been a huge part of what's represented in your art. Oh. Uh, tell me about that and the beautiful use of color. Well, the thing is, I was painting at first uh, realistically, you know, and uh, I suddenly realized if I painted the mountains, it would look like the same, it would look like BC or somewhere else. So uh, I kind of fell into a very simple style. I simplified everything down, and, uh, and then I saw the rhythms in the land and the sky, and uh, and I portrayed those rhythms, and they're always there, you know. If you ever get bored, all you need to do is look up at the sky mm. and the varied moods. Simplicity is best, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you have to know how to paint before you can simplify. You know, you have to have mastered the craft and then you simplify it. You have got some major fans and some famous ones. Uh, your paintings hang in the Prime Minister's home. And I understand Anne Murray uh, is a huge fan of yours as oh, well. Oh, yes, she is. Are there any painters that you look at now and get excited about? Well, I have uh, traditional ones, uh, painters in England that I know very well. Uh, like L.S. Lowry, who's dead now, but he painted kind of Manchester and that, and he painted the city and, and saw the life of the people. And then I have a very good friend in England who's a famous artist, Norman Cornish. And Norman was a coal miner, and he painted the mines, you know? Yes. And, and then... He became a full-time artist, well, and now he's terribly famous, you know. As are you, and just a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for joining us and for bringing your beautiful art with you. Oh, thank you. Pleasure to meet it's you. It's a pleasure.